As expected, day one of the informal meeting of EU foreign ministers in Stockholm yielded no official decisions on policy matters, but a lot of rhetoric. From the get-go, one of the first comments made in front of the TV cameras had to do with Iran. We have a very generous offer on the table. Uh, we want a cooperation with Iran on quite a number of things, including the development of civilian nuclear technology. The statement, however, was quickly followed by a warning. If they are ready to engage with us, we are ready to cooperate with them. If they decide to go for confrontation, I mean, confrontation will happen. But for now, there was no talk of sanctions against Iran. Instead, the focus was on engaging Tehran and urging it to resume talks over its nuclear program. Iran has repeatedly said it favors unconditional, direct negotiations to sort out misunderstandings. According to the latest report of the United Nations nuclear watchdog, there is evidence of increased cooperation in the monitoring of known nuclear installations in the country. The foreign ministers also used their meeting as a platform to denounce Israel's settlement expansion in the West Bank. Uh, settlements are illegal, they're contrary to international law, and they are also a hindrance to the sort of peace process. What's significant now is that increasing numbers of Arab states are clear uh, about the need for them to make parallel moves. Another big issue on the agenda, the situation in Afghanistan following the presidential election. Hundreds of allegations of fraud have been filed since election day. Support from the European Union will be crucial for Hamid Karzai, who will have to win the majority of votes to avoid a runoff. Given the informal nature of the meeting in Stockholm, EU foreign ministers were not expected to come up with any official or concrete policy decisions. However, the two-day event will shape the crafting of EU policies on issues including Iran's nuclear program, Afghanistan's post-election stability and the Middle East process. NMOI Press TV, Brussels.